Hey guys, so we're gonna go from a vehicle na nabenta ko, no, which is yung Civic kanina, to a vehicle na I simply wanted to show you guys. Uh, gusto ko lang yung feature sa page ko, just in case baka may interesado dyan. So what we're looking at right now is the 2022 Honda Ridgeline in the HPD package. So HPD is yung uh, Honda Performance Development, I believe it's called. Bale, siya yung parang ano, para siyang equivalent ng Toyota Racing Development, TRD. So sa Honda, so we got the HPD. So what we have here is a 2022 Honda Ridgeline na nilagyan ng HPD package. So I just want to show you guys what the HPD package looks like, right? And, and at the same time, itong Honda Ridgeline na ito, nilagyan namin ng mga extra accessories kasi I think this one here is actually gonna go inside the showroom. So gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo, Right, I've had people before who were interested in the Ridge Line, right? And they were asking, you know, ano yung, uh, you know, I did video on this before already, yung black edition na nabenta na feature ko before. So we're gonna do something really quick here. So yung yichuro niya for 2022, okay? So again, this is with the HPD package. So ano ba yung HPD package? Ano ba yung HPD extra na yun? So the HPD package, yung Honda Performance Development package, is an extra add-on na pwede mong ilagay sa kahit anong Ridge Line. All the way from the Sport, which is the base model, to the Black Edition. And ito yung mga dinadagdag niya. So you're gonna get this custom-sized front grille. So itong ganitong klaseng grille is exclusive sa HPD package. Okay? You also get itong stylized na bronze color na 18-inch alloy wheel. So you can see there, HPD yung badging niya. So again, this is exclusive on the HPD na trim level. Okay, so aside from that, you also get this, okay? So these are called fender flares. So you get fender flares with the HPD package. So yan, tsaka sa likuran. So yan siya, okay? So on the normal ridge lines, you don't get that, okay? And you also get yung HPD na badging and all these decals, right? So you can see there, on the performance development. Ito yung tsura niya. And one last thing I'm gonna mention is they actually included yung tire pressure monitor system on these um, alloy wheels. So those are the main extras, no? So yung itsura niya. So gaya nga sabi ko, right, this one here is gonna be a showroom model kasi there's a whole bunch of accessories that you don't normally get. Kasi it's, it's, it's supposed to give you an idea of what your Honda Ridge line will look like pag nilagyan mo siya ng accessories. So first and foremost, napansin nyo yung trifold na tonneau cover dito. So extra yan palagi kung bibili ka ng truck, okay? So, yun siya. And if you bili ka ng truck and hindi mo naman kailangan yung bed, honestly, I suggest investing one or two thousand dollars on a tonneau cover kasi it covers yung bed niya which helps sa aerodynamics ng asakyan especially if you're driving sa highway. Kasi anything na open ganito, right? When you're driving, hindi siya aerodynamic. Pupunta yung hangin dyan, right? So, pag sarado yan, mas maganda for your fuel economy. Okay? So, I want to show you guys yung space sa loob ng ridge line. So, ayan siya. And you guys have seen me do videos on the ridge lines starting 2019. Right? Um, I'm not gonna retract yung mga sinabi ko. So, technically, it's not what many people would consider a traditional truck. Hindi siya body on frame. Right? Towing capacity nito, sa mga 5,000 pounds lang. Ang structure nito is based on the Honda Pilot. But, for many people who are looking for a practical vehicle, hindi naman kinakailangan ng mga naglalakihang truck, right? Kung wala ka namang trailer, na kailangan mong itow, or wala ka namang boat, wala kang RV or whatever, hindi mo kailangan sa work ng pang tow, this is a good alternative to consider kung bibili ka ng truck. Kasi, mas komportable siyang i-drive compared to the regular truck. Dahil nga, yung kanyang platform is based on the Honda Pilot. So, very comfortable drive. So, if you're looking for space, yun yung space sa likuran. And again, one of the nice things with the ridge line is it opens yung kanyang, yung ano dito, it opens two, both ways. So, it goes down like this. If you meron kang kailangan na ilagay sa likuran. And, it also opens sideways. So, yan. So, Again, it goes to what I said before about the Ridge Line. No? It's very practical. Hindi siya yung pang tow, hindi siya yung pang lift kit na pang off-road, right? But everyday, you know, occurrences, 
Like for example, you work sa Tim Hortons, you know, mag, kailangan mo mag-move ng mga milk crates or whatever from one store to the other or boxes ng bagels. You don't need a Ram 1500 para mag-move ng mga bagels at milk. At trabaho ka sa McDonald's, pero dala ka ng manager mo sa ibang location para magdala ng boxes ng fries or boxes ng patties or whatever. You don't need a Ram 1500 or a Toyota Tundra para dalhin yung mga patties na yun sa ibang location ng McDo ninyo, right? Something like this is practical, right? Uh, other vehicles that fall into this kind of similar size would be yung bagong release na Hyundai Vera. Uh, I think it's called Santa Cruz, yung truck na maliit nila. Uh, there's also a Ford version, which I forgot yung pangalan ng Ford. Uh, so all of these small crossover slash trucks are starting to emerge again in the market, right? So again, a good alternative to consider nga is the um, Honda Ridge line over here, right? The Tacoma as well. The Tacoma is uh, also uh, in the same category, I guess, size-wise ng truck na ito. So going back to storage, so ayan siya. You can open it sideways like that. You can open it like this. And then, if you actually need extra storage, you can also open this here. So may extra storage ka pa dyan sa loob. So medyo malalim siya, oh. Yung kanyang spare tire nandun, yung jack nandun Makes things a lot easier Diba? So very practical Like This is a kind of truck na pwede mo pang araw-araw Na hindi ganun kabigat sa gasolina Kasi it only runs a 3.5 liter V6 Hindi siya naka V8 So Mas practical siya sa gas opinion ko lang And let's go in the Passenger side here So yun yung yung sa likuran So just like all the other uh, Smaller trucks no Siyempre legroom will not be big On the ridge line So it's not meant to be a family vehicle naman talaga In the first place You can have kids here But legroom wise As you can see Medyo masikip Diba? But it has The nice uh, heated seats, USB chargers and plug-ins, right? So, kaya nga sabi ko, this one here is the black edition so you can tell it has the red trims has the um, perforated leather and in this version here, pinalagyan dahil nga showroom model ito, I'm thinking it's gonna be a showroom model, pinalagyan namin ng all-weather mats niya. So again, just to give people an idea, kung na maging itsura ng truck, pag finuli equip mo siya though the seat also goes up like this so if you remember, no? I did a video on the HRV. The HRV has this nice trick too. Nung tawag nilang magic seat. So it, the the same thing for the Ridge Line, it does that as well. So yun siya, if you need if you need extra extra space, <laughs> dito. So to bring that down, you can just pull it here. Uh, so yun. Now on the front naman. Oh, this one as well. This one here is aftermarket as well. Right? Hindi siya kasama normally ng asakyan. So as you can see there. So, Ridge Line is a Honda branded na ano. Uh, I'm going to put it in But moving on. So, again, same features as the Black Edition. As you can see, it even says there Black Edition. Diba? So, Black Edition is the top of the line trim na meron sa mga Honda vehicles. It's just pretty much a touring with extra extra decorations. <laughs> and again, you get yung black na. Ceiling sa loob, no? Parang kanina, sa Civic natin Yung black yung loob niya Same thing din dito So, yan siya So, it has it pretty much You know, it has remained the same It has been the same since 2021 The Ridge Line, 2020 Ridge Line Right? Main, mainly the things that get changed Is yung aesthetics niya Right? A lot of people Based on market research on Honda They liked yung Ridge Line but the main thing that they were saying is they wanted to look more aggressive, look more manly. So they, you know, they updated yung grill, tried to make it look more, yun nga, keyword aggressive, more off-road-ish, parang ganun. So yun siya. And it's got the, the footwell lighting as well. GPS navigation. Backup cameras right there. Programmable driver seat So parang sabi ko nga it's, it's, it's literally a touring Okay Now ayun One thing I wanna point out no With the HPD package Right uh, Especially sa ating mga Pilipino Kasi mahilig tayo sa mga ganito eh Yung mga design-design na ganito eh The HPD package 
can be put on any trim level. So for example, hindi kaya ng budget mo yung touring na ganito or black edition. Ang kaya lang ng budget mo is yung base model na sport. Walang problema. Dagdag ka ng extra 3.5 kasi yung HPD package is $3,500 na extra. Dagdag ka ng 3.5, then your truck would look like this. Right? Nobody will be able to tell na yung truck mo is yung base model kasi it has the palamuti ng HPD. So yan siya. Diba? So overall, I think you know yung HPD package na to, it's a nice aesthetic, right? I really like yung brands na na wheels niya. Um, it does satisfy yung hinahanap ng uh, many consumers of a truck looking more aggressive. The fender flares help with that. The uh, the updated na the grill helps with that, right? And of course, extra din yung hood deflectors and extra accessory. So there, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the Honda Ridge line looks like, the 2022 Honda Ridge line with the HPD package installed. Okay. There you go. One last look.